Um, making this amazing adjustable pendant light from brass sheeting isn't actually that complicated. Now, brass is not as intimidating as you might think it is. Uh, you can actually cut it with a utility knife. So this is brass sheet and it is really thin. I think this is 0.016. You wanna get the thinnest sheet that you can to make something like this so that it bends. It is 24 inches by one foot. That's it, that's all you need. And actually we're gonna have some left over. We're gonna cut our pieces and attach them to a fixture mounting bracket. You can buy them also at a hardware store. So the first thing that I wanna do is mark out where I'm gonna cut my two triangles because that's essentially what we're trying to create. So let's say I make this line here. To make the triangle, I'm gonna just flip this over, but instead of putting it all the way up to this corner, I am going to push it out here so that way our end down here will not be too sharp. And if it's not perfect, it's not a big deal. It's uh, it's our pendant, and if it's off, we'll just say, well, that's the way it's supposed to be. Make sure that the blade that you have in your knife is really sharp. You're trying to go over and over and over again, and it dulls your blade pretty fast. So probably on these four cuts, I'll probably flip this blade over and use an entire blade. And I'm not even really pressing all that hard to get the first one. With the groove set, now you can really go for it. Yeah, I got a nice little groove in there. Can you see the groove? We're grooving, baby. All right, so now I'm gonna bend this over, and it's super easy. If you've scored it well, it'll bend just like that. So with that bend, it will, let me show you, pop right off. I wanna drill a hole here and a hole here and a hole here and a hole here so that I can bend this whole thing together. Probably about right here. I'm not even gonna measure it because I'm not good. Clean it up a little bit because it looks pretty nasty and I've got some little burrs here. This is a 220 grit sanding block. So to get this thing to form, we just have to go ahead and give it a little help before we start trying to put it together. So to do that, you just bend it. It's not exactly rocket science and I'm not gonna like go crazy trying to make it perfect. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so we're gonna use some wing nuts. We're gonna use some bolts, some little brass washers, and some nuts. Washer, and through this piece, and we're gonna go through that piece. Washer, and then I'm going wing, just like that. All right, so now, with this assembled, I'm gonna go around the other side. So now I'm gonna fold this over, making sure that the inside sheet is on the inside. And I tighten this little wing nut. Wow, that looks pretty amazing, actually, I gotta say. Now I just have to put the socket in. I bought this one because it's black and pretty. Then it also came with this little piece of threaded rod. This threaded rod will screw into the center hole of your mounting bracket. Then I'm putting this on it because you can kind of see it and I want it to look pretty. This is called a coupling. And then I'm gonna put this piece of threaded rod in it. So the next step for this bad boy is to wire it up with whatever lighting kit you purchase. Follow the instructions on your lighting kit. This is the best DIY I think I've ever done. Well, if you like this one, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.